Sandy Charles with FanRag Sports, joined by Giants prospect Chris Stratton. Okay, Chris, who would you say that you mimic your game after? Uh, you try to be as original as possible, but you also try to look at the guys that are most successful. Um, I feel like from a Giants standpoint, uh, as soon as I got drafted, you know, more of like a Matt Cain. He's mm -hmm. kind of around the Tennessee area. I'm from Mississippi, so we're kind of close and uh, similar, similar games. So try to mimic him a little bit. Now you had 10 innings in the big leagues this year. What's it like being up in the bigs? <laughs> Indescribable. You know, <laughs> some guys here have asked me, and it's I don't really know how to describe it. Except it's I didn't really know what to expect, but it's more than what I expected. Um, just the the treatment with you know the camaraderie with the guys and. Uh, just being in that locker room every day. I tried to get there as early as possible to soak it all in, but it seemed to go by real fast. And speaking of real fast, you did unfortunately get hit in the head with a baseball line drive. Talk us through what really went through with all that. Uh, it's just like a batting practice freak accident kind of deal. With with all the balls that fly around here, it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. More people don't get hit. But uh, I was just doing the bucket one day. After you start, usually you have the bucket just kind of uh, getting all the balls in. And, I uh, just went out behind the screen and checked to see if he was swinging, uh, and he wasn't. And I grabbed a ball, and another one came at my feet. And as soon as I did, it uh, just got me right above my ear. Uh, it was uh, definitely a scary experience uh, going home. And uh, I think I sp spent the night in the hospital, turned 22 in the hospital. So that was oh, great. No. Uh, oh, no. But um, just kind of trying to read up on how to get better. You know, some people weren't coming back from it and, you know, just weren't feeling well. And, you know, some people actually passing away. So I shut my computer real quick oh, yeah. and uh, just kind of, you know, prayed about it and just mm -hmm. hope for the best kind of deal. Now, how from that do you get you got a concussion and how is that really going? Uh, I think it took me a little bit to get back. I've spent my first full season in uh, Augusta. That kind of took it mm -hmm. slow with me. I, th I think that was very smart of the Giants. You know, they took very care good care of me. Uh, but I think by the end of that year, I kind of felt a little bit back towards myself. But uh, each year I feel like I've gotten better, and um, I, th I think I'm definitely back to normal, if, if not better. Now in the clubhouse, you're known, and in the front office, they speak so highly of you. You're no sir, yes sir, thank you. Where does that level of humbleness come from? Uh, parents. Uh, my dad was my role model uh, growing up. I'm from, from the South, so yes ma'am and no ma'am is... Uh, it's understood. You have to say it. it. You know, there's no way around it. But uh, definitely, my parents and my, my grandfather definitely instilled that in me. And uh, my dad, being a coach, you know, I've kind of grown up around. He was a basketball coach, but just being around the game and understanding how to respect your elders, especially coaches, has been very helpful. Now you're getting the nod on Saturday's um, kind of AFL All Star for the East Valley. Any pressure on you, and what's going on for that? No, I, I, like I said, I think it's just an, another game. That's the way you have to approach it. I mean, these are some of the best, you know, these are the best hitters that, you know, the minor leagues have to offer at the time. And a lot of these guys are going to be up next year. So um, just to be recognized with some of them is a, is a blessing. And uh, like I said, hopefully I can go out there and throw up two zeros and uh, get it moving. Now, earlier before the camera was on, you said you're one of the older guys, which <laughs> you're not that old. But what's some advice you give to some of these young guys? Uh, I think to not be content where you are, um, I think to enjoy where you are and pitch where you are, but not to be content there. And uh, don't, I guess if you start out in low A, don't, don't just think, okay, well, I'm going to be in low A for the year because uh, before you know it, your name's going to be called to go to the next level, next level. And um, I mean, uh, mom was pretty unexpected when I got called up. So uh, just to be ready. Um, your time's coming and uh, just enjoy the process and trust yourself. Talk us through draft day for you. Uh, uh, I was at my girlfriend at the time, uh, wife now. We were just at her house, just my family members. I, I got invited out to the New York to, to go to the thing, but I just I don't think I would have been able to bring my whole family in. Um, so I just decided to do it at home. But uh, just sitting there, um, just, you know, watching the ticker go by, watching MLB Network, and, you know, you're just hoping that, you know, maybe, it's, maybe it'll be soon, maybe it'll be soon. And uh, I was the 20th pick, so it mm -hmm. seems early, but in the grand scheme of things with the whole day it was kind of later so uh, you're just kind of sweating it out and just like I said hoping for the best but it was it was an awesome day. Who was your first call? Um, I think actually it was probably the Giants. I talked mm -hmm. to a, a few people before the draft but during the draft I think the Giants were the first ones to call so I, I was happy happy at the time. Is there any superstitions or any game day things that you have to do? No just like I said earlier I try to keep everything exactly the same and that's I feel like as a starter, you can get into a routine, but um, 
you know, sometimes being on the road, you can't do a certain stretch the same way and, and anything like that. So I, I try to keep everything light and um, I don't like to get too, too zeroed in because I feel like when I get too focused, I, uh, I try to be a perfectionist and that's, you can't be that in this game, especially as a starter. Thank you so much. Yeah. For Chris Stratton, I'm Sandy Charles with FanRag Sports.